power supplies were cut as winds of up to 90 miles an hour caused havoc in North Wales and Cheshire, as well as parts of Northern Ireland, the northwest of England and southwest Scotland. Winds gusting up to hurricane force battered many parts of the country last night and throughout the day. Among the worst hit was this holiday village at Prestatyn on the North Wales coast. The chalet roofs were torn off, leaving engineers the task of picking their way through a pile of debris. The storms blocked hundreds of roads with fallen trees. The most severe damage was caused in northwest England and Wales. It's been a very, very busy time for all the emergency services. Uh, there's been widespread damage caused, obviously, by the weather, structural damage to buildings. Um, and this weather front is going to continue today. And we would certainly urge that people, if they were travelling anywhere today, that they would adjust their travelling times and travel at an earlier time and only travel if absolutely necessary. The winds and heavy rain brought down power lines. An estimated 50,000 homes were without electricity at one stage. Additional repair teams are working through Christmas to try to restore power by the end of the day. One family in Carnarfonshire was forced to improvise to make sure the traditional Christmas Day lunch was served on time. The gas oven in the caravan providing the vital alternative. For the children, though, it just wasn't the same without the use of those electronic toys. They can't play the music they had when the computers are doing some things. I think it seems very quite nice. It's almost noise around. <laughs> yes, they could sing OK. So there are some benefits to this? Yes, I think so, yes. For us, anyway, maybe not for the children. <laughs> On Merseyside, there were scores of road accidents caused by fallen trees, and the police say the efforts to clear up the devastation may take several days. In one incident, a 32-year-old woman was killed when a tree crushed the car she'd been driving. The weather forecasters say the worst is probably over, but strong winds and heavy rain are expected in many places over the next 24 hours.